your team won't buy into it because our team doesn't buy into our whys, if the why is money, if the why is our success. The why is very, very important. What is your why? Does anybody have a why that is not to do with money, success, or numbers? By a raise of hand. You guys rock. There's at least 20% of you. For the rest 80%, I'm hoping this next session will give you something. It's not easy to build a strong why. I promise you, it's not about sitting down for five minutes and working out, oh, can I have a romantic why? It needs to be meaningful. That's the problem with high energy, you need water. So who knows what this is? This is Castel Bezio on Lake Como. We took the tech director, the board, and a few other key stakeholders, and we went there. We rented out this villa, all of it, off season in the winter. The whole estate was absolutely empty. We locked ourselves in for three and a half days. We brought millions of post-its. We brought three or four rolls of flip, flip chart paper. And we brought this book. Who's read this book? Good, bonus. We did the sprint methodology, which is designed for five days. We did it in three and a half long days. We put post-its everywhere that would take it. We wrote on windows. We wrote on paper and we stuck it everywhere, literally everywhere that would take it. We would draw, we would make sequences of what our business would have to look like in three to five years. But it was useful because at the end of the five days, we worked out our mission to revolutionize digital marketing for great retail brands. We worked out our critical questions. We worked out the sequences of what would need to happen for us to get there. Very important. This was about five or six years ago. This is a screenshot of our webpage today. The mission to revolutionize digital marketing for great retail brands shapes absolutely everything that we do. The customers we take on, the staff we hire, the investments we make, everything revolves around this mission. This mission internally is dissected and it means a lot to us. And it all came from that one trip. So it's worth it. It's very worth it. I know as a growth hacker, as a growth business, you want to go and see growth. Sometimes you have to dig the foundations before you can grow. Because this has really made our life so much easier to make decisions because we have a strong why. Our team buys into it. We buy into it. Everybody's aware of it. See, people are not motivated by your money goal. People are motivated by three things. Autonomy. We need to give them the license to go out and fuck up. We need to give them the license to make mistakes so that they're not afraid of mistakes. Two, they need mastery, so we need to invest time and money in training them. And third, they need a big shared why, a sense of purpose, so that they know they're thriving towards something bigger, which is why we also developed an internal why, which is to create the best possible place for people to work. My dream? is that if we ever have to close the office for two or three weeks because we're moving or whatever, I love to know that my staff is sad because they miss it. And that's, I think, a why that keeps people motivated beyond success, beyond money.